Right, okay, question number one. It gives us the coordinates of two points, although in this case we have an unknown for the y coordinate of b. It tells us what the gradient is, and then we're going to work backwards to find that b. So we've got to remember the gradient means the change in y divided by the change in x. So, well, we know the answer is 4, so the change in y is uh, d minus 10, that's the difference between those. So d take away 10, and the change in x is 5 minus 2, looking at the x coordinates, and I know that answer is 4. So I know that d minus 10, all divided by 3, is equal to 4, or I know that d minus 10, if I multiply by 3, is going to be equal to 12. And then simply, I can work out from that, I can work out that d is 12 plus 10, which is 22. So my value of d will simply be 22.